So good morning, you guys. Welcome to my morning routine. Welcome to my morning routine. I'm gonna take you through all of the things I do today. A general day in the life of Char on a weekend because my weekday is a little bit more crazy because I'm working all day. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of uh, my routines, what I do, my rituals, what I eat, and I'll just kind of go through everything. So I'll show you my skincare routine first, which I just, I just did. Um, I just couldn't do our good morning because I was so half asleep still, which I still am getting in the caffeine today. So, after my skincare routine, which I'm gonna show you here, check it out. Good morning, you guys. First thing I do in the morning when I first wake up is wash my face and do my skincare routine. Um, this has literally become a ritual in my 30s, or since I turned 30 at least. Um, I won't go through this in detail, I'm just going to literally do this and I will zoom through it um, if you guys want to see a full makeup tutorial morning routine comment in the comments below let me know what you guys want to see that um moisture is key always do your neck and your decollage they call it whatever uh, my beauty hack in the morning is that you're tired you're groggy and that bright lighting sucks so always have less lights on so i only have my shower light on this light is so bright that i feel like you want to love yourself in the morning and not self-sabotage your skin because we all have breakouts and we all have blemishes and scars and whatever so that's kind of that all right you guys are gonna see my layers and layers of beauty you're also going to see my smurf mode. I use essential oils religiously on my skin. And they're blue. So, see the blue? So we're gonna smurf down my face. See the smurfing? On the blue. Pull me closer to my keyboard in my hand and all this ain't love but let me stay the night. No means am I a beauty expert? So we're just doing shortest and we're just covering some blemishes because right now I'm having hormonal acne and you know what? It's okay. We are going to love our skin. We're going to be empowered in our skin no matter what's going on because we are human. So then I like turn on the big light here and just uh, see more natural lighting. You can choose whatever lighting you want, really. I just prefer to even out my skin tone without bright lights that are blinding and make me feel like I look horrible. So, yeah. There we have it. So, that's my skincare routine. And the final thing is, ooh, that's dark. <laughs> is uh, under eye. Under eye stuff, moisture, anti-aging, prevention, blah, blah, blah. And it helps with bags, it has caffeine. And it's all natural, so. It's 
Now I'm gonna have wet eyes. Um, they're right in there. Beauty. Here we go. Ready for the day. Well, that's really all I do. I don't put any makeup on or anything. I like besides a little bit of concealer you just saw. But um I don't put any mascara usually. And now we're back in the kitchen after our skincare routine. It is so important to drink your water every single day, all day. So my routine and my ritual has always been that it's really hard to get water in the day when I've been already like going throughout the day. So I always recommend chug a whole glass of water right when you wake up. So like you can do it when you're still in bed, when you sit up, you can do it in the kitchen, whatever. I don't care what you do, just get your freaking water in <laughs> because it's so good for you. Just like that. Now your cell, your cells are being hydrated, flushing out all the shit from the night, your natural detox that happens overnight. So that's done. So now we're making tea because this girl don't function on no caffeine. In case you didn't know, no boy no. You see my Instagram. I'm all about the caffeine addiction over here. So get your cute little mug. This is my cute New York mug. It's my favorite. Has a little taxi cab. Um, I tend to drink, I'm a tea drinker, not really a coffee drinker. So I love Tetley Earl Grey Vanilla, if it wants to focus. Come on. There we go, Earl Grey Vanilla. I also drink just like the regular Earl Grey. But this is so delicious. So let me make my tea right over there. With my macadamia milk. Best milk you can buy. So good. Tastes so good. All my almond and oat and all those drinkers out there, if you're watching. Mm. Macadamia, if you can find it in your town. Oh, it is the best. So, tea is made. And I changed while we were doing that into some yoga clothes because the next thing I do in my day is I make my tea, sip on it while I meditate, and maybe do some yoga. So we'll see, I'll show you guys that. Okay, so the next thing I do is sit down and do a meditation. Um, I try to avoid social media and avoid my phone, uh, just so you can start the day with like a clear mind, because you don't wanna just fill it with everyone else's shit, you wanna kinda tune in and see how you're feeling. So if meditation's not your thing, you can just like work out or do whatever, but I like to sit and meditate. I have a meditation bolster that I have, which is awesome to sit onto. And I personally love guided meditations. So if you're looking for a really awesome meditation channel on YouTube, it's called Great Meditation. I will uh, link them down below. They are amazing. 10 minute, guide, like eight to 10 minute guided meditations. And they just really just start your day in the right headspace. So I grab my phone for that only. I don't look at social media, put my headphones in. This is my sacred space. Um, I always have my journal handy just in case anything comes up or you want to journal after or before you can totally do that journaling is something I really struggle with so I'm definitely not we're not about that right now and then whatever crystal you might have so like I'm feeling called to use my selenite sphere today which is super pretty um selenite is really good for just a natural um supportive stone it's a cleansing stone it is uh connecting to your higher source. So I just use the, whatever stone I want to in my hands to do my meditation. And then um, sometimes in the morning I do this, sometimes I don't, I will burn in Palo Santo. Palo Santo is from a tree, a Palo Santo tree. And it is a really wonderful way to set intention and to cleanse as well. So it's kind of an all encompassing. Sage is more of like um, you take out the negative and then you have to re-put the intention back in whereas Palo Santo is pretty much both. So I just gotta get a little burn, take a breath in, just cleanse my space, cleanse my aura, put it back. You can leave it burning, I just don't, I just do a little bit and then I just put it to the side. So and then I grab my crystal, sit into whatever comfy seat it is for my meditation. Um, you can sit on a bolster or whatever, and then I meditate for 10 minutes. I'll see you guys 
after the meditation. So I did my meditation, that is all done. Uh, I then allow myself to look at social media afterwards if I want to, which I just did for like 10 minutes. And now the sun is like shooting through the loft. As you can see, it's like super bright. But I'm gonna continue to drink my tea and sometimes I do yoga. Usually Saturdays I do yoga uh, for like 20 minutes to half an hour. But today I'm just, I did a workout late yesterday and I went for a walk and then I did all my physio stuff. So I'm feeling kind of tired and I just, I want to eat food. I'm feeling kind of like I just need to get some nourishment in my body. And so it's really important to listen to your body. I listen to my body every single day. So if I'm not feeling a workout, if I don't feel like a hard workout, if I don't feel like doing anything, I don't do anything. Uh, I'm generally I work out probably, I don't know, five to six days a week. But when I say workout, I'm not actually like working out, working out. I'm doing yoga, which is more of a strength training based workout and more like stability and stretching. Um, it's not necessarily like the same as if you're going for like a gym workout every day. It is, it is different. So yeah, intuitively listening to my body today. And I also slept kind of funny and I like, I think I tend to sleep like this sometimes with my wrist and my whole like up of top of my hand is really sore today. Like it hurts to touch, so I don't think that doing yoga or holding poses with my arms or extending my limbs is probably a good idea. So we're just gonna not we're just gonna not do that today. But that's okay. We don't need to work out. We are gonna honor and love our bodies as they are. So I have the house to myself today. So I'm gonna make some food, uh, and I'll show you guys that as I do that. Once I decide what the heck we're gonna make, so I'm just like. Again, just feeling like I could just do nothing. And some weekends I do nothing, and that's okay. I work all week. I work on business all week. And sometimes I just want to, like, hang out and chill. So we're in our yoga clothes. Maybe we'll get motivated after to work out, but maybe not. That's okay. Guys, I know how this works. I got my ABCs right. Oh, so let's okay, so I'm going to make hash browns veggies egg scrambler thing so so far this is like my favorite weekend food i would say i like to have just like something really indulgent which is not indulgent at all because i have like i have severe type a where i don't eat a lot of bad food um but that's okay I just really value nutrition and putting healthy things in my body. So if you eat fried bacon and whatever, uh, that's totally okay. I just, I just don't. Um, I'm very ingredient. I'm probably more ingredient picky than healthy picky. I value ingredients more than fat or calories. So, yeah. But I would say that for the most part, I'm gonna say this lightly, but like, I intuitively eat is kind of like. But I don't like that. I don't like I don't like labels. Um, I eat what I feel I want to. I eat till I'm full. Um, I choose nutrition because food is nourishing, and food will always, always, always um, support your health and your immune system. So I really value the nutrition standpoint of what I eat in a day. So I try to get in lots of greens, lots of veggies, uh, lots of protein, a good amount of carbs. I love carbs, so I will be the last person to tell you to cut carbs because carbs are my everything. I was actually in the grocery store yesterday and my boyfriend wanted ice cream, so I got him ice cream. And I was looking at like, I'm not really an ice cream girl. I was looking at like the ice cream stuff and like the bars and I'm like, oh, maybe I could like try these. And I'm like, oh, yeah, mate. yeah, okay. So I was like settling on like, not even really liking ice cream. And then I found, you guys, <laughs> my white girl basic ways pumpkin spice waffles i buy these during pumpkin season because they're only available during pumpkin season i bought two boxes i threw those dilly bar things back in the freezer and i was like screw that i'm buying pumpkin spice waffles so that's where we are um those will be my snack later because <laughs> i will indulge in carbs till the cows come home i love gobs love gobs Say you'll be the one for me Say you'll 
So I always do a plate of greens. Um, I have spinach and kale and I think Swiss chard in this one. So I always have something in that space. And then in here I have um, potatoes, mushrooms, and peppers, yellow and red. And then I'm gonna add the chickpeas in in a minute here once I get this up more sauteed. And then I add eggs, but I do the eggs after actually because I want them to like be sushi on top of the food. So yeah. That's what's happening. Food time. That's my eggs with my salsa all on the veggies and potatoes and mushrooms and peppers. Oh my, so good, you guys, so good. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, it's just eight. Now taking my multivitamins. Multivitamins, so, so important. Um, even if you eat healthy, you get nutrition, you feel good, blah, 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 blah. Or maybe you don't feel good. Uh, I recommend multivitamins. They can be very hard to take. And often we forget to take them. I forget to take them all the time. So I take uh, doTERRA's vitamin supplements called the Lifelong Vitality Pack. Um, I have to take it twice a day. I often only take it once a day. My goal this month is to take it twice a day because... I want to feel my best and vitamins are just something I can do a whole nother video on if you guys want me to so comment below if you want to see another video on vitamins but um, something that's very important for your daily nutrition your wellness your health all that stuff I'm struggling with this camera to get it like my head in but you know we're first time vlogging and oh, what feels like Forever, 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 forever. Um, also take my PB Assist as well, which is a probiotic. So if you wanna know more about vitamins, let me know in the comments below. But I'm gonna take those. We're gonna make some coffee and we're gonna sit down and have a chat in a little bit here. Hey you guys, so this is uh, being filmed a little bit after the original day in the life morning routine video I did. Um, I just didn't get a chance to close out the day. I just because I'm running around and it's just, it's really hard to vlog and move and do stuff. So yeah, we're gonna end the video here. I did wanna segue into just a little bit talking about um, mental health and my mental health update. I did share that over on my YouTube channel. If you guys didn't see that video, be sure to check it out. Talking about my own journey, my own struggles with my mental health and just uh, sharing with you guys where I'm at, how things are going, what's going on, that kind of stuff and also, what's happening with the Charway, with yoga, with teaching yoga, taking a break, all that kind of stuff. So if you guys want to see that video, be sure to head over and check that out. It's on my YouTube channel. And we're going to end today's vlog style video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing my morning routine, seeing what I eat, and just uh, seeing me kind of in my natural habitat, I guess, as you could say. So comment below, share with me your favorite part of the video, whether it was food, whether it was me just being really candid and off the cuff, whether it was my morning skincare routine. Comment down below, let me know what you guys like the most. And also, if you guys want me to do a full skincare video talking about what I do in my routine, be sure to let me know down below as well or any other suggestions or asks that you want to see into the life of Shar. So do all of that be sure to like this video subscribe to my channel if you aren't already subscribed you guys and i'll see you in the next vlog style video all right bye guys